what's going on guys manik from techyworld.com and today you launched its much awaited smartphone the u unicorn so let's take a look at the specs first the phone has a 5.5 inch full hd display it is powered by an octa core mediatek helio p10 processor coupled with 4 gb of ram it has a 30 megapixel rear camera with dual led flash and a 5 megapixel front facing camera it has a 4000 mAh battery rated to deliver up to 20 hours of talk time and 500 hours of standby time. The main focus of the phone is its new software layer that you call Android on steroids. That is more or less stock Android lollipop but with some extra features. This includes the around you 2.0 service that lets you order food, book flights and hotels, shop online and much more. It comes with 32 GB of storage which can be expanded via the hybrid dual slim micro SD card slot. The overall UI is smooth and clean with no bloatware except for use own couple of apps. We didn't get enough time to try out the camera properly but there was a bit of shutter lag initially. However, the colors look good and pixels didn't burst even after zooming. The phone is made out of a metal frame using a brushed aluminum alloy including manganese and magnesium and the thickness is 8.5 mm. It sports a fingerprint sensor on the home button which can unlock the smartphone in mere 0.2 seconds. It is not a capacitive home button, so you can press it and also use it as a fingerprint scanner and a home button. The overall design reminded me of Muzu M3 Note. Seriously you? The smartphone will be available in rush silver, graphite and rush gold color variants though the Rush Gold variant will be available in a limited quantity for the first few sales. The price of the phone is 12999 for the first month and afterwards it will be priced at 14999. You can register the device from flipkart.com and the first sale will be on 7th June. Moment of truth now. The phone has been priced really good but there are some flaws in it. You call the Unicorn a redefined flagship but has decided to power the phone with a P10 processor which is not at all a flagship chipset. They at least should have used a Helio X10 or a Snapdragon 625 SoC. The design of the phone is exactly like the Muzu M3 Note which is really disappointing. Else everything was great and I personally found the UI to be perfect as it is really clean and free from bloatware. Around you is also updated and is now very useful. For a price range of 11,000 to 15,000 you can also check out Moto G4 Plus or Lenovo Zook Z1. Anyway, we cannot say much about the phone and cannot give our final words on the phone till we get our proper hands on it and do a full review. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.